Hi there, this is Chris Allison, and I'm just making a quick little video to show a few things to make it easier, hopefully, to set these cameras up. And here we go, there's a system that's ready to go out. And um, there are a couple things that you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to is, on this system here, this lens has this little collar right here. And as this camera is set up, they're all a little bit different, but as this camera is set up, this, uh, as you can see here, there we go, that number is set on 11. Now, if you want to change this from 11 to another one, you just turn the collar. This particular system, the side lighting is on 8, and the center lighting is on 11. That's how you change that. Just click it like this. The lens itself has a little collar and this collar here will go out like that and you can see that little M right here that says manual and in the manual mode um, well actually you know what <laughs> come to think of it it says AF because the collar is out so in, in, in automatic focus the lens will automatically focus on whatever it is that you're pointing it at we do not use automatic focus while doing iridology readings. We use manual focus. And there we go. You can see the, the blue collar out here. And when you do that, you can see that the lens moves in and out. And so what's going to happen here is, is that you're going to push it so that it's all the way out. You can hear there's a little stop right there. It's all the way out. And this is this is the setting or the place you're going to have the lens set in order to take the iridology images. Then the next thing you're going to pay attention to is uh, setting up the camera system itself. We have a couple of holes. This one right here, which has a bolt underneath it. I don't know if you can see that there or not. Hopefully you can. But that bolt goes in and holds this section in place. <clears throat> and there's another hole up here which is going to hold, this is another system going out, the face mount. And um, so what you'll notice is this hole is a little bit closer to the center. That's what's going to hold the actual camera itself and the macro focusing rail. The one that's further out is going to hold the face plate. And so we have this dial here. As you can see, there's a white dot or a white line. It wants to line up to the M. A, no. Effects, no. Anything other than M, no. So that's what you want right there. You're going to turn the camera on here. Now the camera is on. You're going to turn the flash on here. Now the flash is on. When the flash is totally illuminated and ready to go, you'll see a little red light there that goes on. There's uh, focus lights, and the focus lights get turned on right here. When they are turned on, you're going to notice, oh, that's very bright, very bright lights. And that's gonna make it so that you can focus on the eye rides easy and uh, focus when you're actually focusing. And the person's face is in the face cradle. This is a face cradle. Their forehead will be up here and the chin rest is there. There's this here, that knob holds this in place. So if you have a person with a relatively short face and you'll move this up and turn this like that. This has got a nice phenolic end which makes it nice and soft so the person can have their face where it's supposed to go. Loosen it up, it goes down. When you want to take it out, you take it out. Just like that. Okay, then when you want to <clears throat> line the camera up with the person's face, you can turn this knob here. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can. But it goes up and down. If there's another knob, <clears throat> and the other knob is this knob right here, this knob creates a little bit of friction. So let's say if it's not on creating friction, and you go up and you let go, the camera falls. Oh, doesn't hold it in place. Create a little bit of friction. It goes up. Well, yeah, we could use a little more. It goes up. And what gives you a little more? Goes up, and there it stays. So that's what that is for. Then as you're focusing on the person's eye rides, 
you're going to use this little knob on the side. This little knob on the side. Um, forward, back, forward, back. As you're looking into this right here, this is uh, the diopter. It's called the diopter. And so you're going to look through here. You're going to look at the person's eye. While you're looking at the person's eye, you're going to be focusing this in and out and in and out. And when you're done and you get it perfectly in focus, you're going to click this button up here. Click. Of course, the camera's not on, so it's not going to take a picture. Click. You get the picture. Everything flashes. Then it'll show up here, and you can get an idea of what it looks like. So, the diopter. That diopter has the ability, this little knob right there, you will adjust your camera to your eye. And basically what that means is everybody's eye is a little bit different in focal range or well, you know, <laughs> some people wear glasses, some people don't, some people see well, some people don't. And you can adjust the camera to that person's eye. And the way that you do that is you turn the camera on. You can see this little backlighting goes on here. And then you look through here and then you're going to see some numbers in there. Of course, you're not going to see it through this here video, but you will see numbers that are in there. And you will turn this around until you get those numbers completely in focus. Now, sometimes it takes a couple of times to try it and get it done, but you push it down, push the button here halfway down, the numbers show up, you focus this here until it's completely in focus. Now, once that's done, your eyes are adjusted to the camera, and when you see something in focus, the camera is gonna see it in focus. And that means you'll be able to get in focus, really clear images every single time. When you're done, you take a picture, click, it'll show up here. You'll see, actually see what it looks like. When, um, and there's a couple of different ways you can get the images onto your computer. I personally use this little SD card here. I click on it. I do one handed there, click on it, comes out. Whoop, there it is, SD card. And then I slide this SD card into my computer and then the images start showing up. Some people like to use, it's a little spring loaded thing here. I don't know if you can see it. There it goes, springs out. You can hear it click back in, click the door back in. <clears throat> then, then there are um, a couple of connectors over here. There's a USB connector and an HDMI connector. If you wanna do streaming videos or whatever, you can do that. This is an interesting button here. It should be on full. Turn it like that. It's on limit. That basically <laughs> limits the length of the barrel and uh, limits the uh, focal plane. Um, we always want to have it on full. Like that. So, is there anything else going on with this? Mm, whoop. I think that is going to cover it. So the things to keep in mind, on and off button here, on and off button here, on and off button here. Oh yes, there is something else. Uh, the collar, you wanna make sure that you can move the collar like this and that it moves the lens and that the lens stays all the way out. You leave the lens all the way out and you do your focusing with this right here. This is gonna move the camera closer and further away from the eye. And that's how you're gonna do your focusing. And then you have the center and side lighting option. So if you are going to take side light images, you're gonna see these two little caps right there. These little caps are gonna come off. That allows the light to come out of here and light the side of the eye rides. And then you're gonna see also, there is this little plate right here, and this little plate covers up, <clears throat> let's see here. This little plate, I'll turn that off. This little plate covers up these two fiber optics, which light are going to come out of. So basically when this flash flashes, when the flash flashes, light is gonna come out of all of those fiber optics, this plate right here, covers up those two plates 
It's got some neodymium magnets here and holds this on. And so it covers this up and then the light comes out of here and that's going to, light comes out of here and that's going to illuminate the irides. If you want to do a center light, and on this particular camera, for whatever reason, this is the way it's set up, uh, side lighting is going to be on eight. So you would move it here, that's going to be on eight. Then if you want to do a center lighted, you put these little, these little um, plastic pieces on, you pull that center piece out. Now, light is going to come out of these two little um, fiber optics and it'll light the eye rides from the center. So, the, so in the advantage of that one is that the light is going to go inside the pupil. So you won't have any bright dots anywhere in the eye rides and you get full spectrum eye ride um, lighting without any kind of flash in the eye rides. So that's that. Um, let's see. As you're taking the camera on and off, you will notice that there's this little, um, that is a lever. Now the lever goes off to the side. Oh, there we go. It goes off to the side and that was a spectacular catch on my point. Um, and because I didn't have the safety mechanism on. Yeah, you see there's a little safety mechanism on. I should have paid attention to that. So anyways, when you're putting it back on, this here is going to catch that side there and goes in and then click the lever comes over you give it a slight little squeeze squeeze and then now it's tight so is there anything else that i would like to say about that i think we're good just remember when you're done everything has an auto off so well, actually, that's not entirely true. The camera has an auto off. So if you leave it on by mistake, after about five minutes or so, it will automatically turn off. Um, if you want to see what the battery quality is like, you're going to see the, <laughs> thanks a lot. You'll see the battery up here. Uh, on this particular setup, the ISO is a 200. Because of this lens, you're not going to see the f-stop. It's controlled, the f is controlled here, the 11 and eight, and then, the um, shutter speed is an 80 on this particular camera setup. So you're going to have your own numbers for your system as you get your camera set up. So the camera has auto off, so you can leave that on. Five minutes later, it's going to turn off. The flash has an auto off, so after about five minutes, the flash will turn off. But, but honestly, I do recommend you just turn the darn thing off. This, the central lighting, which lights up those two little lights right there, does not have an auto off. So if you don't turn that off, you're gonna, wait, you're gonna wear out your batteries. Now you see it's off. So the good news about these systems is I am sending them with rechargeable batteries now and an extra set of rechargeable batteries. So oops, if you do happen to leave us something on you can just put a new set in and recharge the old ones. Um, so there you go with that. I think that pretty much covers it now. Okay, so I hope you're having a great day and take care. And there is one more thing that I would like to say, which has to do with how do you move the camera to be in front of each eye, left eye and right eye. And that will be done through this knob right here. As you can see, as I am spinning the knob around, the camera goes left. As I push the knob the other way, or spin the knob the other way, the camera goes right. So you'll be looking through the diopter at the iris, uh, for the eye. And then as you're looking through there, you're gonna spin the camera and it's gonna go <clears throat> to the side as it comes directly in front of the eye. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to have is the person look straight down the middle of the barrel. They can look right in between the two focusing lights that you've seen, the two very bright lights on the front. They are gonna look right down the center of the focusing lights as if they're trying to look at the sensor in the back of the camera. 
And so you want the eye to be perfectly straightforward and the camera perfectly straight in front of that. So it is perpendicular to the eye. You don't want to have the eye looking left or right to get to the camera. You want the camera to be directly in front of the eye and the eye straight forward, just like that, looking straight down the middle. That way there, the plane of the iris will be flat and you'll get the entire iris completely focused every time. All right, there you go. I think that kind of wraps it up. So I hope you had a great time, <laughs> at least a little bit of fun listening to this. And I had a little bit of fun making this little video. So have a wonderful day. Take care and enjoy whatever you are doing right now. All right, take care.